Jax is gonna bring you numbers. That's what the mess is. I need this real. On the Breakfast Club. I know they know the difference. Keep it a stack. Travis Kelsey doesn't want credit for the fade, and, and he should not. <laughs> does not want credit. <laughs> Travis can't get credit. No. Yeah, he can't, but I'm glad that he made it uh, clear that he didn't want it. The New York Times called Travis Kelsey's haircut, um, his fade, the Travis Kelsey. They actually wrote it and said, they'll take the Travis Kelsey hairdo, that is. And um, they, he just he sat down during the, the opening night uh, for the press conference for the Super Bowl and he took the opportunity to clear up that he didn't invent the fade and we got audio for that. It's absolutely ridiculous. And to do it and to do it on February first to throw me to the walls like that, that was messed up man. I don't want anything to do with that one man. I I, just, I, I got a good fade if you need it though. It's a two on top, a nice high to mid fade with the taper in the back. But I didn't invent that. I just asked for it. Said, February 1st to throw us to the wolves. So now we wolves. Dang. <laughs> he thinks black people teen wolf. He thinks he can kill black people with a silver bullet. <laughs> Dang. The crazy thing is, I swear, he sounded black. If I if I didn't know who he was, he sounded a little black he saying did. that. Yo said, hey, yo, y'all can't, y'all can't give me that. But I wonder if Boosie going to have something to say about this. I, I really do. I, because he didn't invent the fade either, but he is highly known. For the fade. For his boosty fade? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Now, the irony of that New York Times article, whoever wrote that article, he mm -hmm. owes the culture a fade. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> like, why would he even say that? It doesn't even make sense. Like, it just yeah. sounds stupid. Culturally mm -hmm. clueless, but some things you should look up. Yeah. You know what I mean? You should yeah. say to yourself, I don't think that's probably new. Let yeah, me yeah. research that. You don't even got to look up. Just open your eyes. <laughs> yeah, just like, open like your eyes. Uh, everybody wow. got a fade. Like, like, that's right. You don't see black people. That's true. Yeah, yeah. That's true. And uh, Jamel Hill, uh, she uh, tweeted or whatever that... They already tried to give Taylor Swift credit for the swag, sir. That's crazy. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't have cultural competency on your staff. That's, that's right. That's exactly what she said. So I agree with that. The swag servant, they might not have heard that or seen it, but the fade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fade you is know, crazy. Like, you don't work with any black people? The swag servant been around since mm -hmm. oh, oh something, maybe oh nine. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, but it's been around for 15 years. <laughs> but that also shows that, you know, just because something is big in your world don't mean that it's big it's in everybody big else's in world. Yep. We it's all do be in our own bubbles. Regardless of how big something may be in yep. our bubble, it's still our bubble. Bro, Jay-Z got a fade. When? When the hell was Jay-Z ain't had a fade in 15 years? Nah. What are you talking about? Oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> no, I'm, looking at, no, I'm looking at the picture on the wall. I'm like, Jay-Z oh, got a fade. Well, Jay-Z yeah, got nah. a whole head of hair. Yeah, what you right. talking about? Yeah. But back then, Jay-Z had a fade. Jay-Z out here looking like a Molly. What are you talking about? Yeah, he got the uh, the, the, the Florida locks. The, oh, the one, yes. like, like six of them. Yeah, yeah. six of them. <laughs> Kanye struggles with booking venues. Uh, he posted a video and uh, last night, and he spoke to his fans about having a hard time booking venues. Um... He said the only venue that he's been able to book is the United Center in his hometown in Chicago. He claimed that when he reaches out to other venues, they say they have no availability for him, which he hints uh, is a result of anti-Semitic comments. We have um, audio for him, too. We just sold out the United Center in seven minutes. And I just wanted to express to everybody out there to see if it's anyone that can help with this. It's the only arena that... I had access to in the past year. And when I call, people say there's no avails for me. And you know why that is. So if there's anybody out there that can help with this, please do. Hmm. So he's doing the United Center. Yeah, that's he's what it like sold it out. Yeah. Okay. And that's but the he, only but he can't get no other venue. No other nope. venue. No. Nope. Oh. And he added to the post that I have not been allowed to perform in a year. Feels like the Elvis Presley movie. No. <laughs> That's what he said. White yo. people love Elvis. White people don't love you, I, Kanye. That's, That's why you can't get in those buildings <laughs> mm -hmm. and do no shows. But he might as well just do a residency there. Just do a residency in Chicago. In Chicago. Make people come to Chicago, mm -hmm. his hometown to see him. Cause people will do that. Yeah, they will. Yeah. yeah, but but for Kanye to act like he doesn't know why he's in this position. <laughs> you know why you're in this position, he Kanye. He knows. Okay, and there's too much going on in the world. So many other calls to action we could be doing. You put yourself in this position, sir. Yeah. Live with the consequences of your choices. Yeah. yeah. Ain't you know, no black <laughs> people that own no venues like that? The, the, like a re, uh, like a stadiums? Yeah, stadiums? Uh, probably not. I don't know. I, I don't want to say probably not because I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was reading the comments. Somebody was like, all right, let me call my cousin Paul who works security. <laughs> 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 like, why are he asking us online? Exactly. Like, what are we supposed to do? I don't, I don't know. know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can't do nothing for you, Kanye. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Now, uh, this is um a very, very sad story. And it was a previous story uh, from earlier last year. The death of a decapitated baby in Metro Atlanta Hospital ruled Jesus. a homicide. Yeah. So in Clayton County, um, Jessica Ross, she's 20. She went into labor with her son, Trevion Isaiah Taylor Jr., on July 9th. Um, 
at Southern Regional Medical Center, and the baby became stuck about 10 hours into Ross labor and was eventually decapitated when the family's Jesus doctor Christ. attempted, yeah, was when attempted for hours to be pulled out. Uh, they claim the doctor used excessive force on the baby's neck and head. We have um, uh, 11, a live news report. We now know the manner of death for a baby who died last July after a lawsuit alleged the Clayton County child was decapitated during birth. A lawyer say Jessica Ross went into labor for 10 hours on July 9th at Southern Regional Medical Center in Riverdale. The lawsuit calls the doctor who performed the delivery negligent for not calling the, for proper emergency procedures in a timely manner. And lawyers say the doctor applied excessive force on the baby's head and neck. Here's how the couple's attorney previously described what happened? Feet came out, the body came out, and there was no head. The healthcare providers at Southern Regional Hospital, after this horrific incident, tried to hide what actually happened. They also did not report the death to the authorities of uh, Clayton County. Definitely send the healing energy to that uh Absolutely. To the mom and the dad. Was, no, it, for was, sure. was he a doctor that was on law? Because I've, I've had six she, kids. Yeah, she was a doctor. Oh, she yeah. was a doctor. I had mm -hmm. six kids. Charlemagne had four. You have one. Mm -hmm. The baby comes out head first. You don't pull the baby feet out. Yeah, uh. yeah, yeah. The family uh, has since filed a lawsuit against the doctor who delivered the baby, uh, Tracy St. Julian, her OBGYN practice. Um, the nurses and doctors involved in the birth and the hospital citing medical negligence in the wrongful death of the baby. The lawsuit alleges that the hospital tried to cover it up. Um, but at first there were no charges, you know, like nothing pushed against her. But now... The, the, uh, the family is deciding if they want to press charges or not. But this plays to the fact, I know I don't Definitely really, um, yeah, I know I don't, you know, report on things like this, but this actually plays to the fact why a lot of women are afraid, especially black women are afraid to have their babies in hospitals, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, shoot, I, I know from now on I, I will be, you know, and along with other problems, you know, like things like epidural problems and all mm -hmm. that type of stuff and just how, back problems, yeah. you know, it's back problems for later and everything like that. So I just, I wanted to report this and get it's you also a doula. an update. Get you a sure. doula because somebody should have been like, what are you doing? But yeah. I, Somebody should have said something but, in that yeah. moment. I just thought when the baby wasn't in position and was mm -hmm feet first, they would try to massage it to get the baby to turn around, and if yeah. not, I thought they had to do a C-section. Yeah. I didn't think they could pull the baby out from feet first. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, 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 then to not... I'm not a professional. I just got six kids. But I, yeah. I, well, you are a professional baby maker. Yes, just, just with the mess took that. a sharp turn. It sure could did. Could you tell us when you're about to get off the exit? <laughs> yeah, please. Like, I, I, wanted to, Jesus I wanted to report this. is an update and it's very important. It is. So, it is. like you said, um, wow. I think I, I think people should invest in doulas, mm -hmm. should do more research That's right. on doulas, and, mm -hmm. and have, figure out other ways to have your baby safely. I agree there with you all. Go. Thank yeah. you go. Thank you for the darkness, Jess. No problem. No problem. Don't worry about any of us trying to have breakfast this morning. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Well, that is Jess with the mess. Are you looking? Me like that. Hmm. Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, we got front page news, and then Charlie Wilson will be joining us. So don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.